Hey everyone, we are back with Palana and we're up against Haley today. Uh, this is a very different Palana that I've been playing to other channels or other videos on this channel. Um, it's a one I'm happier with. It has Sandberg again, but it also has Grail Ice and it has the Navi City Grid as well, which hopefully we'll see against Shaper. It could do work. Um, it's a bit spikier than the last one that I played, which I prefer, I have to say. And it is what I brought to regionals as well, and I was pretty happy with how it went on the day. Um, if there's any issues with audio, I apologize. I'm using a different microphone at the moment today, um, but I should be back to the regular setup very, very soon. So it's a fan site, Haley, which I'm not all that pleased to see, but uh, we'll see what they do with it. So they get Batty. And Batty goes, of course, and they're going to come back to HQ again. Just see the gift. So, that's not so bad. Definitely not as bad as it could have been. So we get our first piece of Grail Ice. Hopefully we can get a couple more. Grim. And we'll just stick this on HQ for the moment. Maybe I should go with a more aggressive turn. Like stick it on a new remote or something. But, uh... For the moment, I'm just going to leave it there and see. So we're not going to show it off just yet. I'd prefer to have other bits of grail in a hand. But unfortunately, we do lose our agenda. So that's not great. And they're going to trash the pad. Go quite poor, which is okay. Fan side is gone. That's nice to see as well. And again, we'll let them in. I'd like to be able to build up for restructure very soon. We have the celebrity gift to show off some bits and pieces. Hopefully we won't give away the the whole grail thing. But we'll see. So they're putting on plenty of pressure already. Um, but we're going to show off our hand and show that it's not all that fruitful just yet. And next turn we'll build a celebrity gift and restructure again if we want. And that will put Sandberg in a pretty good place. Grim is, well, really it's to use with the Navi Grid and shut down David, but it can do work in other places as well. So another fan site and a hunting grounds. So that's not great, <laughs> if we're being honest. Uh, it's only once per turn, but not what we wanted to see. Okay, so we could gift but I'd prefer not to, so let's uh, draw something. Future Perfect's not ideal. Um, stick that there, and we'll go with Restructure. So, Hunting Grounds is the perfect counter to what we are running until we get a couple of Grail Ice in a row. So we will flip this here. I don't think there's anything they can do about it. So, perfect. Cast them a click and force them to jack out. Now at least we might see what kind of uh, code gate breaker we're dealing with. Gordian Blade can be annoying, especially if you've already set up your code gates. Um, so this could be better for us. Um, so there's your Navi Grid. This is not a paid ability, unfortunately. Uh, only if they want to trash stuff. But uh, we'll stick it into the server, just in case. Now, where are good things good? Could put Sandberg in there as well, just to hold down the fort a bit. Um, Grim, where do we want Grim? We pretty much need to stack two, uh, two Grail here, just to make anything, any use, any bit useful. Have I nearly put Grimm somewhere else? Uh, I'm going to put Sandberg in. Ah, uh, dear. Hmm. Put in there for the moment. We might be able to force the use of this. Maybe they'll install a breaker or two. 
and then they won't be able to use it on Galahad the second time around. So Hertha's colony is coming out as well. It could be just, as we've seen, a sale to Aesop's. Or they could have other tricks up their sleeve. Alright, now I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> Beach party coming out. Hmm. So they're going to have a massive fan size. We need to get moving very, very soon. Let's draw new structures something at least. Uh, do we intern Zabati in here? I think we... oh we can't at the moment. I think we do next turn. We will pitch the grid for the moment. But it will mean that uh, Sandberg is in the wrong server then. Okay, Beach Party's getting sold. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what this Haley's up to. But all may be revealed very soon. Yep, that makes sense. And Punch Tantra. So, expect to see sharpshooters, things like that coming down. How do we get rid of hunting grounds? Nisa comes down. It's not brilliant. Now it's a little better. So let's put that on server 2. And... Hmm... We could put the Nisa into server 2 for the moment. So they'll be able to ignore this. This they can break easy enough. So I think we need to hold for the moment. Uh, we'd nearly put Grim server 2 as well try and force some stuff out yeah because we need to be able to burn through Faust as well so they're currently selling everything except the hunting grounds So we can interns Batty if we want, kind of need to, but again we leave ourselves a click short of getting the Nisa down. Alternatively we could try and we have 11 credits, we have enough money to raise what we need, 6, 11. We get this live. Hmm. No, I'd prefer to see Batty, I have to say. So we'll put Batty into server two. And take a credit and hope that they don't push this turn. Depending on what we draw, we might have to use Jackson instead. But I think... Comet, hmm. I think it may be time to push before they can get like quality times into diesels, that kind of thing. Philotic is not that exciting at all at the moment. So let's install into server two. Advance at the once. And just take a credit. We should res Batty before Councilman comes down. Okay, beach party. So, gearing up to get their Faust running. There was a game day. Now, where are they going to run? Uh, 
or are they going to leave it off? Okay. So they're going to go for the big, big dig on R and D instead, from the looks of it. I think we need to get the knees out of the door, and hopefully hold off. So let's pitch the celebrity gift for the moment, and see what we can do with R and D. So Beach Party is going to cost them a click, but they're kind of getting it back with Comet as, as long as they're playing events, which is quite likely. And they're burning through their stack as well, but we're still not entirely sure what they're up to. You'd assume Maker's Eye, Legwork, all that good jazz. But very hard to tell so far. So we'll make them use the hunting grounds. Yeah, it's just an end the run on its own, which isn't all that bad. Okay, well if they're not if they're not using hunting grounds, then we will reveal Lancelot as well. Alright, so in reality they should do that first. But we're not gonna make a big deal of it. Jackson unfortunately goes down, which means Batty is not long of this world, and Philip Critic is also going to hurt. So, funnily enough, we have a second Batty here, which I think we have to push, so let's throw him into server 2 as well, and let's put the pressure on with this into server 2, and we will advance the once. Now the funny thing is, if they run here without using political operative, uh, we can flip the Mombad City Grid and make sure that they don't get to use it. But uh, it looks like they're going to go R&D instead. So it cost them two cards. Which I'm pretty okay with. And they have plenty of agendas, so I think we just leave them and hope for the best. Okay, so we lose the future perfect. So that happened. And this is where future perfect is much, much worse than global food. So we can try and shore up R&D because I don't think they're getting into our remote server fast track helps this isn't great if we're being honest cuts down on the amount of times they can run but I don't think it's all that exciting so let's go money instead We may just have to race all together. Which wouldn't be ideal. So these two clicks and presumably run last.
I think I'm just going to token everything that I see from now on. Because if we do, then we might be able to win this race. Maybe. Okay, perfect. So we'll have two tokens. We could even put Caprice into R&D, which is the safer play. So let's advance and advance this and hold and stick this into R&D. I think we might have to play conservatively. And Cromart Life comes down, so they will have the four clicks from now on. Hmm, interesting. It's a card I've wanted to try myself, and I've stuck it into a few decks, but i never really gotten it to fire well. So, let's advance and score this. Um, we can put a Future Perfect in there as well, which is probably safer than in hand. And if we fire off a hedge fund, it means it's 1-4, which I'm not that thrilled about. So I think we just take a credit. So they're not using money, so Grimm's bad buff won't matter. Um, this serve is pretty safe, actually. They can't really afford to be running through it uh, with hunting grounds. It's going to be expensive for Faust. And we can shut down Political Operative as well. So we just need to hold out on R&D, basically. Yep. question is, how do we do so? Now that they have all these cards, it makes it much, much more difficult to justify hitting them with a token. I think I do. leave them run again which only cost them the one card but hopefully it might hopefully it'll be enough to uh, give us a bit of breathing room one two three four five so we know where six agendas are so quarter chance of losing here really Okay, we survive. Okay. Um, so we can force them to use hunting grounds on something. I think we stick Merlin up there. That'll force the hunting grounds, which means they won't be able to use it on other things. And we can Nisa token them, token them as well when they've uh, spent a lot of resources. So we mightn't be in a bad position here. And we can still afford to res the things we need. So this costs us 6, 10, 12, plus any Psy games. And they do have a lot of cards here. question is, where do they feel more confident that they can get into? There are a lot of upgrades down here. And if we can hit them with the Grim, uh, that should be game. Mm, 
Maker's Eye. Well, that was kind of silly. So they've spent a card. They're going to use the Hunter Grounds on a counter, presumably. So they'll still have to break this, which will cost two cards. Uh, then they have to break this, which is another two cards. And we will obviously token them. So this will cost one to boost and three to break. Uh, so yep, we will end the run there. Now they can go for another Hail Mary run. It'll cost them everything they have in their hand. But it may pay off. And I think you nearly have to at this stage. It is your best chance of winning, really. Unless you think that this is a 4-2 that I'm just kind of chancing my arm with, kind of bluffing out. Or go legwork. Let's see what you can see here. Those are kind of the best courses of action, I think. They're going to go again. So I'm making sure that it only costs the one through Enigma. So let's show the bad news. So they will have enough to go through NAPD or to get an APD without having to host on Film Critic. Yeah, this is going to cost them a fair few cards and Enigma the one as well. But I think this is what you pretty much just have to do. This is the all or nothing. And two cards. So, will it work out? Uh. Oh, we survive. And that will be that. So that was a tight game, but this is definitely the, uh, the version of Palana and Sandberg that I'm more used to and happier with. A bit spikier, and I think that's what you need with something like Sandberg. Unfortunately, we didn't get to use that. It's the second remote that kind of screws me over. I'm never entirely sure how to balance it. Um, if Hunting Grounds hadn't been a thing, one of these pieces of ice could have been a second remote that we put Sandberg into as well. And I think we would have been pretty good to go. Uh, but unfortunately, you know, needs must once Hunting Grounds came down. Once we saw all this kind of madness going on as well, uh, we had to shore up our defenses a lot. So we were looking at, you know, a couple of Lotus Fields come down, which wouldn't have done too much against Faust. But our agendas were nice and hidden, which is quite nice. So I hope you enjoyed, and thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.